Code Pink rises in solidarity with Gabriela Philippines and Gabriela USA as they condemn the absolute pardon of convicted murder U.S. Marine Joseph Scott Pemberton by Philippine President Duterte. In 2014, Pemberton brutally killed trans-Filipina Jennifer Laud. Duterte's pardon and willingness to prioritize a U.S. serviceman who committed a heinous hate crime shows the deep roots that U.S. imperialism still holds strong to in the Philippines. Duterte has betrayed Jennifer and the Filipino people by pardoning Pemberton and allowing him to walk free. And the U.S. now washes its hands of yet another blatant attack on both people and sovereignty in the wake of its extensive military operations. Pemberton had been given special treatment under onerous provisions of the Visiting Forces Agreement and remained in U.S. custody. The VFA, which allows for U.S. military forces to stay in the Philippines, perpetuates a culture of violence and interferes with Philippine sovereignty by allowing special treatment for U.S. troops, as well as hindering the Philippine court justice system. Pemberton committed a crime on Philippine soil, was convicted, and should have served time. But Philippine jurisdiction and sovereignty were not respected, and Pemberton remained in U.S. custody. Under the Trump Duterte macho fascist regime, we see the constant emigration of women and LGBTQ people and the heightened propelling of anti-people policies and bilateral agreements that serve their regimes and U.S. imperialism. We condemn unequal military agreements, such as the Visiting Forces Agreement, Enhanced Defense Cooperation, EDCA, and the Mutual Defense Treaty that allow for the basing of U.S. troops in the Philippines. As Code Pink, we stand in solidarity with the family of Jennifer Loud, LGBTQ Filipinos, and all victims of U.S. imperialist aggression. We join in the continual rage against militarized violence against the people all over the world.